start the second quarter. Second and long. And we're ready to start your mother. Second and long. In the I formation. Oh crap. Nice. Who was that? Who got the sack? Numbers have changed, so I'm not entirely sure who the hell it was. Is it freaking, um. Oh, Keith, Keith Bullock, probably. Oh, dang. They have not been able to do crap against this defense. Keep in mind, this is on All Pro and they have not been able to do crap. That is how OP our defense is right now. Here's the kick. We got it. We got it. We got it. Screw you. Dang. That's why I love having Joey Galloway. Damn, I love him. It's like the only guy I've ever been able to successfully do punt returns with. the deep man. Neil. There we go. Dang, he's slow as fuck. Holy crap, he's a snail. It's like trying to stiff arm. He's just like, oh, I'm going to just like walk. I'm going to walk. I'm going to limp. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. Okay. They get off their very Harrison. Yeah, there we go. And he hits his target. Harrison comes up with the big catch on third down. Made a great move right Five consecutive passes. There we go. That's why Breeze isn't started. That's why he's starting. Touchdown? Oh, no. I couldn't break that. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. We've only got 100k to work with, people, but we still made the best damn team possible. Oh, crap, sack. Oh, God, stop getting injured, people. I can live without Portis for a little bit, but still, man. Ah, crap. Galloway, damn it. Keep getting sacked, or close to it at least. Is this just one of those teams where we can never get a touchdown and we just get field goals, but our defense is so good that it doesn't matter? Because it seems like we're starting to become that team. And it's good! The visiting team are set to kick it deep. And Scotty and the F-Sticks are going to kick the ball downfield. That one's down. a really good kick. And then we're going to win. From the five. Dang. The the punt that was a crunch and a half. First and ten. Oh shoot, no, that would have been that would have been Boss Bailey that made the sack. Okay. It's pretty legit. Oh yeah, fumble, fumble. Damn it. It's picked up. It was a backwards pass, which is why the ruling on the plate is a Damn it, there we go. We had Michael Strahan get back there, but ah, we didn't get the fumble. There's an element of danger lingering. Come on. Oh, dang. This one falls incomplete. The smart coach would call this play. All right. Third down, people. Here we go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Props. Props on that one. That's what happened there. He got loaded, and he got it to clear. It's first and ten. Oh, shoot, I forgot they got Terrell Owens. Dang. They actually got a really good team, though. Dang, Nick Barnett got the interception. Okay. He just sniped him. Don't stop. 
Madden didn't even talk about there. the interception. He talked about the lineman making a tackle. Wow. Burleson. And he, oh, Dang. he had it and lost it incomplete. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection. Uh, don't call him number 81. His name is Burleson, Mr. Announcer, in the background. It doesn't matter to anyone. Just won't go down. There we go. Nice run, though. How hard he just got in. He's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. So we have first and ten here. Dang, total yards, Eagles had 61. And like half of that's probably coming from that one pass that they completed. Galloway MVP, he, he saw me struggling to throw it. He's like, oh shoot, I better come down. Negative four rushing yards, ouch. The Eagles come out of the 46. And he just gets by the first down marker. One yard Portis is actually running more than one yard now. It's beautiful. Harrison. Yeah, I didn't think so. I honestly didn't think so on that. Two minute warning. Okay. Breeze is pretty legit today. Drop play, drop play. Ah, uh, damn it! Didn't think that'd work either. Okay. Um. Well, this looks good. Let's see. Dolphins beat the Titans. Redskins beat the Bucks. Ooh, Redskins are competition, huh? Uh, Harrison. Yes. We ain't being able to be stopped yet, boys. We're winning. We're winning. Oh crap! Yeah, I didn't think we'd get past that. McDougal. Dang you, McDougal! Only one man in the backfield. Oh shoot, Burleson's wide open. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh yes. There we go. Are we going to get our first touchdown here? Or are we going to be stuck at the five the whole time? Because once we get, like, at the five yard line, then it's just hard to do anything. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. Philly hasn't even scored on us, and we got three field goals and a touchdown. The kicking team heads out onto the field. And better not miss it or I'll kill you. Okay, good. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. The visiting team are ready to kick this one off. The F sticks. They're called the F sticks, and they are ready to kick this one off. Great kick. Not a bad kick. The game told me it was a great kick, so you screw yourself. Give the defense a lot of credit on that last possession as they were able to force the interception. Let's see what happens this time. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some. Yeah, I just saw. I just saw the first person that got three tackles. We're about to go into the half. We only got like one person with three tackles. Everyone else is none because the offense hasn't done shit. I mean, I like everyone on their defense is like eight tackles by now. Uh, which Washington's Ted? I think it's the one on the left. I think it's this one. I think this one's Ted. Oh, shoot. Almost picked it off. Here. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down is when you want your players to dig five through eight, and, and they're one through three. When you convert, one one through three is not the worst. Extra rest, and, it gives your and one for four. <laughs> to work with. Time to call a special teams play. So we are going to return this punt, hopefully. Third time. <gasps> oh no. Here's the punt. Ooh, right in the middle. Can we do anything with it? A little bit. From the 37. 
Not much, but something. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half, but they got to be careful and not let We do want to increase our lead. Screw the other team. They can't get back in it with another turnover if they wanted to. Witten. Oh. Now, whoever makes a catch here has to remember to get out of bounds. Actually, we really don't care about expanding our lead. Our lead is actually in just fine, but... He's looking, guns it to the right side, and he hits his target. Shepard pulls him down at the 47-yard line, and they hurry Dang, that's a one... F did that say 180? No. Again, super blurry, and I'm super sorry about that. Ah, oh, crap. I also can't see... Oh, 25 seconds left. Okay. But don't fight for extra yards. You need to get out of bounds. Galloway. Damn it. Almost got it. Nearly a turn. The quarterback has all the Okay, I want he just needs to be a little more patient out there. Want a good route for the tight end. So we can see a big formation or a five wide set. Good one for the tight end. The defense better be ready for whatever they see and make the right adjustments. Strong eye. Ooh, there we go. Always like like the slant out like that one for the tight end. Because they don't ever really cover the tight end very well in this game. They'll go with a play fake. Witten. On the run. Yes. Yes. Touchdown. Visiting. I called it. The pass for the touchdown. Yeah, the defenders were looking called it. You better kick it here. Told you they never freaking cover the tight end, and that route's like the best for a tight end. If anyone ever wants to go back and play Madden 5 and just dominate, I'd get a better tight end. I'd get like Jeremy Shockey. But then I would just do that over and over again. And I remember the first, one of the first times I played through franchise, I was playing the Minnesota Vikings, and I and Jermaine Wiggins, who isn't even that good in the game, he had like, I threw it to Randy Moss, like he had 60 catches at the end of the season, and then Wiggins had like a hundred something. I just threw the tight end that much, because it was like the tight end is such a good target in this game. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. First and ten. Okay, is your offense going to do anything at all to us? Because I'm kind of starting to doubt it. Ooh, that was something. That was indeed something. Two yards to go. Buckhalter, the deep man. Owens, the motion man. Fuckhalter, the deep man. Pressure coming. Picked off. Oh, dang. Barnett again. Oh, crap. What the hell is this game? Did I save it on All Pro? Because it feels like it's on All Pro. Like, at least, at least the kicking meter. But, what the hell? The kick is up. The point after is good. Okay. Wow. What a game. <laughs> I guess all of a sudden it's 30 nothing, and what was a really good game is now like, oh, we're just dominating them. Maybe I shouldn't have picked such a freaking OP team. <laughs> Maybe the F sticks are a little too good. Try this play. First and ten. Oh, another three tackle player. Oh my. the deep back. No, so since I'm playing this, I should say this. I don't really pay attention to the NFL that much anymore. All mainly because like the past five years have just been like oh, every every month you hear about some new crime. You hear about like Johnny Manziel bull crap, you hear about Plaxico Burris shooting himself in the foot at a nightclub. You're like JPP blowing off his fingers with fireworks. It's like the most ridiculous crap. And now we're getting into the second half of the game. So Woo! So we pull the shark the third quarter.
But yeah, it's just like hearing all this random crap. The Ray Rice thing is absolutely disgusting. Um, so on, so for, forth. People complaining that they're getting 60 million instead of eight, 70 million, you know. Like just seeing all that. Yeah, of course it happened. You know, 2005, for example. But it's like, ever since. I, I, and, and I don't know, I was younger and I didn't hear about it as much. But like, the Viking Saints 2010 championship game, I think it was 2010. But just hearing like, the Saints had a bounty on Brett Favre, and they were getting paid to injure people. It was like, that screwed up. And then you hear more crap. You hear the Ray Rice, you hear the Johnny Manziel, you hear all this crap. And every time I heard something like that, I just less and less enthusiastic about watching football. And it was just like all of a sudden, I don't care about this crap. Half of these people are just the biggest dirtbags in the world. I'm not saying all of them are. There's some really nice guys, you know. But, I mean, I follow it locally, pretty much. I follow Giants and the Vikings. Those are my two teams. And a little bit everywhere else. A little bit of the Raiders here and there. Like, the criminal team, I know. But a little bit of the Raiders. Just just because I used to like the team. And, you know, I don't know. Other than that, though, like... I mean, less I, than two yards I, I have no reason good. to follow anyone else. Holy crap. Ooh, that one will leave I missed him with a big fun. hit, but he got past me. Fifth play of this drive. At about midfield. But otherwise, like, you look at you look at mid-2000s, early 2000s, and it's like, yeah, there are still dirt bags. You still got, like, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, but, I mean, overall, they're... You know, there's not nearly as much crap going on, at least that you heard of. Because the only thing I can think of going back then, and again, I didn't hear about it that much because I was younger. But you hear about, like, Minnesota bolt boat scandal, where they had, like, Paul Pepper and Pat Williams and all that crap, like, on the boat having sex with prostitutes. Like, that's all I heard of. Like, besides that, it was like, yeah, there were people complaining about money and crap, but it wasn't like people committing crimes like beating their fiancé in an elevator, knocking her out and that kind of crap. I don't know, just me. But meanwhile, as this rant has been going on, we've actually been getting curb stomped. And they might actually score on us now, which, good for them. It's actually a really good Eagles team, and I don't know how we're doing this good against them. Because, like, McNabb and Owens should be doing a lot more damage than this. Shoot, do they have, uh, what's-his-face in the backfield? Because I haven't seen him. Who's that, Bratsky? Yeah, Bratsky. They got, uh, keep forgetting his name, but they have him in the backfield. Yeah, they, they got Brian Westbrook too, so they should have been doing a lot more damage by this point. Hut, hut, hut. Okay. Oh, crap. Almost got him. Oh, crap. I ain't letting you get that touchdown, boy. I ain't letting you get away with that one, boy. David Akers, one of the best kickers. If he misses a 42-yarder, I would... I don't know what the hell would be going on. So props to the... Ooh, that was close. Props to the Eagles for getting their first score. The Eagles! The Eagles! I get a sound clip of that. Just play it like 10 times over. The Eagles! The Eagles! The Eagles! Oh, crap. Dang. That's a pretty nice return out of that one. Yeah, 39 plays compared to 23. Our offense has been really good. Ooh. Okay. He injured himself doing that. Oh, my God. He clotheslined us and then injured his arm. 
Javon Curse is an idiot. <laughs> like, you don't... I mean, I know Brock Lesnar suplexed a guy in an NFL uniform once, but I mean, you don't clothesline people, man. Keep wrestling out of football. Because we don't need Suplex City. We don't need the clothesline from hell. Just tackle people. Like, spear people, I guess. I don't know. Like, break your neck by spearing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We're actually going to have to punt now. Oh, my God. Alright, McBriar is your first punt. Make it a good one. It's not a bad one. I'm not a bad punt. I'm not a good punt. I'm the punt. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, he tore his bicep. Holy shit. Don't clothesline people in football. You'll tear your bicep. Oh my god. How he did that, I have no clue. Just don't clothesline people and you're okay. Damn. Oh crap. I almost got him. Oh, I hear all those fans cheering in the background. Yeah, we stand a chance. Not really. Like you can start hearing him quiet down in a second, just like, oh. I forgot it's kinda pointless. Cause we're behind by so fucking much. Oh my god. I gotta replay that. That looked like he dove like Superman. Dove across half the field. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Ooh, and he just dives. He touched him. He, like, zoom in on this. First of all, who is it? Okay, it's Urlacher. I guess for most people, if Urlacher, like, touches you, you die. But, like... Damn, delayed reaction. Delayed reaction on that one. So let's pick up the action. Give this defense a shot. They need I don't know, seven. Brian Urlacher, like, he tackles you, you die. He touches you, you know, you're just down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drops back, rolling. Oh, dang. I didn't even tell Michael Strahan to do that. He, he just jumped. He's like, I'm going to get the interception. Nope. Oh shit, Terrell Owens is going to do something. Not if uh, Boss Bailey. I saw someone get an interception named Bailey and it's like, oh, it's Champ Bailey. Oh my god, a touchdown? I'll take that. Boss Bailey gets his own touchdown. Second defensive touchdown. Um, It's crazy shit. So let's try to attack on the extra point. And it's on its way. The point and and the kick is good. good. And we're just dominating further at this point. Jesus. Are lined up for the kickoff. Not even Champ Bailey. It was Boss Bailey. I don't even think we've had any corners get an intersection. Inter intersection. Interception. I think it's been like Nick Barnett two times and then the Boss Bailey line. once. I think any safety or corner interceptions yet, which is something. Thirty-seven to three, though. That's that's a really good debut game. Might have a that guy got knocked around by that defense. Boom! Tough fact and Tenacton. Boom! I'm John Madden. Boom! Okay, that's enough of that. Oh damn, Balamalu. If you didn't swap that down, there would have been a touchdown against us. See where the ball is going. Boom. Okay. And yeah. 
Yeah, remember I said we were screwed? We we're screwed. The fucking Terrell Owens. You know, he, you know when Terrell Owens does a play like that? You're going to be hearing it for the next, like, eight weeks. <laughs> like, 74-yard touchdown pass is just going to, every, every interview, hey, remember that 74-yard touchdown pass I got against Ty Law? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. It's like... Oh, poor Eagles. They could be 0-8. 0-8. 0-12 for that kind of play. And Terrell Owens is going to be like, yeah, the Eagles are losers, but hey, look at me. I got a 74-yard touchdown pass against frickin' Ty Law and the F-Sticks. Don't let those guys intimidate you. Get out there and run it down their throat. See, do we have any egomaniacs on the on the field? See, we don't. We're, we're, we're pretty clean of the egomaniacs, at least on the offense. I don't think we have any really big ones on the defense, do we? I don't think we have any really big egomaniacs on the defense. But look at that, the end of the third quarter. Complete domination. 